Hello and welcome to another episode of Film Freaks with a Z, the podcast all about movies. Each episode is about a specific movie, which we'll get to in a little bit. But first, as usual, I need to invite you to come on and do the fan vote. If you have any movie recommendations for that, um, it happens every uh what four episodes on tay's recommendation so he's got a little bit of time now this is the fan recommended episode um so you can actually get a chance to be on the podcast like today's guest or uh you can just have us talk about it that's okay as well if you want to submit a movie recommendation either chat in the movie stuff section on the discord uh or uh send us an email at ff.filmfreakswithz at the end at gmail.com or comment on the latest episode of film freaks with a Z at the end. Or if you're on the show, just say, hey, this is my next recommendation. Because we've had that happen many times already. Before we introduce the movie, though, I would like to say I apologize. I forgot to edit and upload the last episode for the podcast. It slipped my mind the past week, so it was a little bit late. Uh, one out of 50 you know, times for it to happen isn't too bad, though. Because I know it happened one other time before during... I think when our guest was on before, when when they were a main member of the podcast. So um, one out of 50 times ain't too bad, but it'll happen sometimes. All right. Uh, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves before we talk about the movie. I am the Kung Fu Ferret, and I'm here with... Kung Fu Waffles. Hey, Mason. And hey. special guest today... And Queen Lucy. <laughs> yes, it's a reunion here today. Um, <laughs> Demonic Lucy is here, a.k.a. Coco, but now she wants to be called Lucy, and we abide by that. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you have... Uh, I guess I guess what the people would be asking is, why the name change? It's... Well, not to get into two specifics, but... No, you don't have to do anything. It's specific. just... Yeah, some, yeah it's, it's just... Me, knew me. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> the well, true you, some would say. <laughs> yes. How is everyone <laughs> doing today? Doing well. Solar doing eclipse. Right. Good. That was fun. I finally got my computer basically up and running yesterday. Ooh, nice. Taste rooms oh. coming back. They will be coming back. Yes. Let's go. Oh. Live. Some someday live ish. <laughs> Although I will not be there when you're streaming at midnight my time. So just saying. <laughs> no, no. no, I won't be streaming that late. Yeah, as Greedy mentioned, it was it was Eclipse Day, <laughs> which was pretty cool. Three minutes of my life not wasted finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was very cool. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. cool. It was a total yeah, eclipse here. It. And yeah. That was pretty cool. We changed our ways. The eclipse changed us all the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah the, the, the eclipse changed me for about three minutes, and then I went back to being normal. Yeah. yeah. I was uh, mowing my you... lawn, and I was like, wow, I hate mowing. And then I stopped. I was like, wow, this is great. And then I went back to hating mowing. <laughs> Maybe you all have powers now, like that show from, he- like the show Heroes. Oh, uh, yeah. The first two seasons uh, of that show were so good. The first season was so good. The second season was where it started going downhill. Well, I was like 14 when I was watching it, so I guess I wouldn't have noticed the shift. Yeah, it was a mm-hmm. second season was pretty big drop compared to the first season, and then from what I heard, it just got worse and worse and worse. And... Pretty sure there was only like three or four seasons. There was four, and then I think they tried to do like a spinoff re- or something. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't quite a spinoff, but it was kind of like it. I don't know. There was a fifth where they tried to kind of reboot it, and it didn't do good either. So, oh well, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Before we right. get any farther, I, season one, perfect. Before we get any farther, just like to mention, yes, we are missing Ray today, but that is par for the course when yeah. guests are on the show. Um, so uh, she'll. Be back next episode to give her thoughts about the movie today. Speaking of which, Lucy, you got to introduce the movie for us. So today, if you haven't guessed from our obvious hinting, we'll be watching Mr. Kung, it's Kung Fu Panda. I don't know why I had a Mr. there. 
Um, we I got... like Mr. Kung Fu Panda better. <laughs> Mr. Panda was my father? <laughs> um, Mark Osborne and John Stevenson um, directed the movie. We came out in 2008, which is very surprising. <laughs> um, and our high and mighty cast, we got Jack Brack, Ian McShane, Angelina Jolie, Dustin Hoffman, Jackie Chan, Seth Rogen, Lucy Liu, and David David Cross, and James Hutton, let's say, for our main, main cast. <laughs> it's there's a lot of big actors in this. And I'll say, to start us off, who is your favorite character of the five? Or they've all of them, but... Mm, out of all the characters? Yeah. First, we'll start, we'll start with the five, then we can do all the characters. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you know me, I loved the Seth Rogen character. No, I hated that character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why'd they give him so many voice lines? <laughs> right? Like, all the rest of them got, like, very minimal lines, and then he had the most. Yeah, like, Jackie Chan five. hardly said anything out of all the characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. He was like, he like said hi a couple times. I feel like that was pretty much it. And he, he yelled out, like, oh, Tigris. <laughs> and that was it. Yeah. They gave him, like, you know, they, he was probably the one of the him and Angelina were probably the most expensive, you know? So they're like, yeah. you get uh, 15 lines. Um, <laughs> at... <laughs> yeah. I guess my hey, favorite design <laughs> of the characters was um, Monkey. I was like thinking of his name. I'm like, no, he's just it's just called yeah. Monkey. He's just Monkey, yeah. yeah. I think he's my favorite design. My least favorite design was probably the snake, which was Viper. Uh, yeah, yeah, Viper. I hate snakes. You hate snakes. Wow. I love <laughs> snakes, but yeah, I didn't care for her design because like it was just like in several different types of snakes put together. <laughs> like I think she had a rattle. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember a seeing a rattle. Okay, maybe no, it was she, just they no, used a, they just used the rattle sound effect on like one of the times she was fighting, and it's like, <laughs> why? That could have been it, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but I funny. I really liked um, I like Viper's character. Uh, also, Tigress. She was the more main focus of the five, I'd say. Yeah, but yeah. she still did um yeah. a great job of. <laughs> She still had less lines than Seth Rogen. She did. <laughs> What's funny is like, so when I was watching, it was like I know the five all have like super mm-hmm. like big star actors um, doing the yeah. their voices, and I was going through and I was like, okay, that's David Cross. That's very mm-hmm. obviously David Cross, and I know Angelina Jolie was Tigress, and I was like, but who was the other ones? And I was listening, and I was like, and it was like two lines into the Mantis. Like, he said a few other things, like, during fighting. Mm-hmm. I was like, I can't tell who that is. And then he did his, his stupid laugh, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yep. That's who that is. Yeah, um, I, I never could figure... I never figured out Lucy Liu uh, until the end of the credits, when it's like, Lucy's like, oh. I mean, she didn't I say anything, yeah. so I couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't know Lucy Liu about everything else, so... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. This is probably one of the worst castings for Seth Rogen since Donkey Kong <laughs> in the Mario movie. Yeah. Um, just uh, his voice doesn't match the character, and like I, I'm not expecting like a high pitched like squealy kind of character voice, like, but something mm-hmm. wise and like yeah, something that's not mm-hmm. Seth Rogen stoned out <laughs> yeah. of his mind yeah. talking into a I'm microphone. Pre- <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> man. <laughs> 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 yeah, you want to go out back and smoke some weed? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Smoke some dumplings? Yeah. <laughs> no one liked uh, Crane at all? The bird? Oh, I like Crane. Yeah, I was kind of indifferent was... about Crane. Yeah, I, I like Crane enough. I like David Cross. He's funny. <laughs> Crane was like the only character that was kind of nice to Poe throughout the movie. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Him and uh, Viper. I mean, um, Mantis... Viper was very nice. <laughs> yeah, so Mantis and Viper quickly grew on him. Like, we're nice. Yeah. Tigress was just such a 
yeah. so, like just hate on Poe almost the entire movie. But well, because you know she was supposed to be the dragon warrior, and then she, yeah. he took it from her. Hey, there oh, are yeah, no accidents. Hey, but there are no accidents. There are no accidents. <laughs> they must. They must have said, "Must I cast Seth Rogen?" It was. It was destined. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it was probably just like, "Hey, we need big names for this." Just to fill out the poster or whatever, and because like you know everyone here is kind of, you know would would draw on a crown. I mean Angelina Jolie and mm-hmm. Ian McShane and Jackie Chan, of course. Yeah, um, but yeah. I think I think you know you put Jack Black on the poster, and I think Seth Rogen is like right after it, especially during the mm-hmm. 2008 era. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems weird because it's like Jack Black probably should have been enough of a name. You yeah. think? Yeah, I, guess, I mean, in... this was his first. Was this his first animated feature? I think it was his first animated. But like, I mean, he'd been doing things like School of Rock and stuff that did really well. And yeah, no, he yeah. wasn't. He was apparently in Shark Tale. I didn't know that. No, oh, which came yeah. out in two thousand four. Oh. So he had oh, been doing movie. some voice <laughs> acting. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, either way, I feel like just because like getting Jackie Chan to come in and do like five lines for a monkey you're just like you wasted it like yeah. <laughs> get jackie chan to be like jackie chan would have made a better um sifu than <laughs> dustin hoffman <laughs> at least well, no, he I, knows I, karate <laughs> i thought dustin hoffman did pretty good sifu. No, yeah no he did a good job for sure but i just feel like <laughs> Get Dustin Hoffman to be the monkey with 15 <laughs> lines. I don't know. I guess you can't. They're like, Dustin Hoffman's a pretty big name, too. So maybe they're like, he's got to have more lines. And yeah, maybe this is the actors. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the selling point for Jackie Chan was, hey, this will take you like 10 minutes yeah. to do and you're going to make $10,000. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought um, I thought that Jack Black was okay in this movie. Mm-hmm. You could kind of tell he was still a bit stiff in the voice acting category, um, mm-hmm. because there was some line delivery that I thought was kind of bland. But for the most part, he did yeah. a pretty good job. Yeah, yes. I thought he did good. I no complaints about it. Yeah, I, I have complaints. I there was <laughs> there were some moments where it just felt like he was reading a script, and you're like, mm-hmm. I kind of want more emotion out of what you're saying right now other than mm-hmm. other than like the usual jack black isms you know um which work for the character obviously this character was definitely designed around with jack black in mind i feel like um mm-hmm. but there are some moments during the yeah. more emotional stuff where he just can't get to the level that you want him to be for like what's happening mm-hmm. and yeah just kind of it didn't bring the movie down too much but it was um, a criticism i had just a small one mm-hmm. yeah I, I see that. And like I said, I mean, this was his second time doing voice acting. Well, I mean, you was, look at him in... He was also an Ice Age, so... That... Oh. Yeah. Okay, third yeah, he's time. He's everything, man. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, just look at him, like, do his... Um, like, the voice acting he did in the Mario movie, you know, that was the best part of the Mario movie, was him. Mm. As Bowser. He's definitely, yeah, he's, he's, he's grown a lot yeah. as yeah. a voice actor, like... He he's definitely like nowadays. I have I haven't seen the other Kung Fu Pandas, but I'm sure he does a lot better job in those ones. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Mario movie. He was a great Bowser, and yeah, he can he can actually get the he can actually get the emotions out in his voice now. Like he was definitely struggling back when he did this movie, because this was like his first main character role. I guess I don't. I guess it wasn't he. He was the shark in Shark Tale, or not the shark? Yes, shark. Yes. He was the one pretending to be a whale or something. I don't remember exactly what happened to that movie, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but that still was yeah, like a, a, a sidekick to Will Smith's character. And then in Ice Age, I don't even remember who Zeke is in the movie. I don't know either. So he was probably um, just like a random, you know, yeah, sidekick. I was going to say NPC, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, this was like the this was like one of the first times he was doing like a major role in. Yeah, mm-hmm. he he definitely grew from right. here. Yeah. Oh, well, um, since we got that that Furious Five out of the way, were you guys um, who was your favorite out of the other supporting characters like Shifu, Uguay, um, 
Poe's dad. Yeah, so definitely the turtle. I was about to say uh, Poe's right. dad, then I remembered the turtle, and I was like, I liked the turtle. Yeah, the turtle was <laughs> great. <plays> so good. <laughs> I, I, I love that scene where he's with Master Shifu, and they're at the peach tree. And Oh, yes. <laughs> I think that that yeah. was one of the best movie, parts of the movie was when he's giving him, like, all that, you know, kind of, they're kind of t- dancing around the subject of Poe and, you know, whatever. And, <laughs> um, you know, uh, the one, the one, uh, like, a couple lines of dialogue where they're talking about, like, oh, I could, you know, I can't make the peach tree grow an apple or an orange or whatever. It's just, it was very well written and it was very well done. So I can plant the seed. I can see, um, it can hit food and have one hits the tree and just peaches fall on top of it. <laughs> and uh, also, also when, like, you know, it was time for Master mm-hmm. Uwe to go, like, I thought that was a pretty emotionally mm-hmm. resonant uh, part of the movie as well. Yeah. I think, uh, Sifu, because, uh, or Shifu, uh, because he can, I, I just like his, um, or, yeah, because mm-hmm. I like, um, how he just, his character growth, mm-hmm. I guess you could say, because he was like, oh, I hate Poe, you can't do growth. it. And now, at the end, he's like, you know what, you can't do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his, there, there's, yeah. there's a couple characters who have good character growth in here, and, um, it's kind of unfortunate that they didn't have a different ending for Tai Lung. Tai main, Lung, yeah. Because I felt like I know we're skipping ahead, but at the end of the movie, I felt yeah. like when because I I thought that the ending of the movie had like the strongest like not only action sequence mm-hmm. but like the narrative too was like the strongest, where like the scroll mm-hmm. is just like a a shiny piece of paper you can see a reflection in. I thought that was a great yeah. message, and I feel like I I understand that like it's been like years and years of like torture for this guy he really wanted to be the dragon warrior i felt like maybe there he should have had like some sort of epiphany and maybe regretted his actions or something like that i don't i i didn't like fully agree with him like i mean i like mm-hmm. the sequence where he's like trying to do the the numbing punches the poe like that's hilarious but yeah. like i i feel like maybe we it, maybe, maybe it could have gone a different way yeah um funny you mentioned that because every kung fu panda fan that i've seen wanted a redemption arc no, I mean it was kind of uh, set up for that, you know, it, like because Shifu yeah, were... apologizes and then he gets the and scroll he's... and he's like, "What the fuck is this shit?" And Poe explains to him the the meaning behind yeah, it, and and yeah. he's just too too mad, like just too much damage been done for him to fight before he realize it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, I was really hoping that like Poe's like speech would would knock some sense into but, him. Yeah. Because I, I I liked yeah. his character. I thought he was a pretty strong villain for the movie, um, mm-hmm. even though he's not like in it as much as I would like. But yeah, yeah, I, I felt like we could have definitely had some sort of redemption arc where he sees the error of his ways, and then they don't have to have like another threat happening. Like they could just have that be the arc, mm-hmm. and then end the movie on a bit of a. I mean, it still ends on a happy note, but like a bit of a happier note where he's still alive. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He didn't get yeah, atom bombed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ian McShane, he 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 really sold that tie long. He did much better than Seth Rogen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, tr- trade oh, out Seth yeah. Rogen with this character, and yeah, ma- let him <laughs> die. You know. <laughs> I do find it like I wish they kind of explained a little bit more, like or I had some sort of like scene where like you kind of like. Who just suddenly knows the finger hold and figured it out himself just seems how he kept well so, um I, well when he when Shifu kind of did the finger hold on him he did kind of hint at what he was because what it was because it's like you know how much of happens my flex my pinky <laughs> yeah he definitely knew what it was but <laughs> knowing what something is versus something knowing how to do it is mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, the the build on what Lucy said, he know like he knows kung fu, right? You he, they establish mm-hmm. that throughout the entire movie that he knows yeah. the ins and outs. So just putting that into practice took a little bit of training, mm-hmm. but after the whole training montage with Shifu, I I, I believe that he kind of figured it out, you know, I mm-hmm. because he's putting the these these things that he knows into actual use, actual practice. Yeah, kind of like yeah, that whole scene where it's like 
Chief, you can really see like how different Po and Tai Long were, like because Po was like when Shifu did that like bowl trick to make see if Po could figure it out, he did that and, and when Ta, when Po did Tai Long, Tai Long just swept them all up instead. Yeah. When, <laughs> so just, there's just a lot of like good details in in that movie that can go on, but <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, I think I think where this this movie really shined in the action sequences and <laughs> a lot of the narrative elements as well, which was very surprising. Um, because you kinda go into the movie going, Oh, it's a you know, it's a Jack Black Panda yeah. movie, you know, whatever. <laughs> but um yeah, even though I didn't like I wasn't like completely vibing with it for like the first, I don't know, maybe like twenty minutes or so. Um, the later <laughs> half of the of the movie really started to come together, especially after like they, they, you know, he goes back and talks to his dad, and he and he gets the inspiration from his dad, who doesn't really believe in what he's doing. In all honesty, but he gets, he takes that inspiration with him um, yeah. about the misting and greening and stuff like that. And um, <laughs> like I said before, like the action sequences are also like really like even even at the, at the beginning of the movie when I wasn't like a, as into mm-hmm. it, like the action sequences were really good. And my favorite action scene was, uh, of course, the ending is like excellent. But like right. that that scene where um, Shifu and Poe are fighting over the dumpling is just oh, like yeah. out of this world, really well animated. Like I was very like happy yeah. while watching that. <laughs> like, yeah. Dude, I really liked. I mean, just all of them. Like the um, I can't remember the bad guy's name when he escapes. Like Tai Long. That. Tai Long when he escapes when they fight him on the bridge, and then oh, yeah, yeah, just all of them. Scene too. Just I think yeah. they did a really good job on all of those scenes. Well, like, very well animated. Yeah. Yeah, it's very well for two even for two that well animation does like doesn't really go off. But um depending well it depends on the movie. But I think like the animation um lasts longer than like C G definitely in CGI, especially in like two thousand two thousand era. <laughs> but like man, you see what can you see it's like oh it really helps with four K upscaling for now, but still it's like damn how they do this all for this budget? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this movie came out in 2008, and I'm just looking at some other movies that released at that same time. Bolt definitely does not look good as a, as good as this movie. <laughs> Over the Hedge, Ice Age, those are older, so that's, I don't really count those. Mm-hmm. Um, after this movie, uh, How to Train Your Dragon, I think, will, looks worse than this movie, and and Mega Mind. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I mean, I, part yeah. of part of that it's necessarily the animation; it's just the style. Yeah, um, I also it's, plays a big part. <laughs> yeah, this obviously this they went for more of like a, I guess re- more realistic looking animals instead of weird cartoonies. <laughs> um, like Bolt, yeah, I was like that's kind of I guess what a dog looks like. <laughs> yeah, with Kung Fu Panda doing a bit more realistic, like yeah, they had they, there was definitely some ugly fucking animals in this movie, which yeah I appreciate mm-hmm. because there's so many movies out there like Sing or whatever that like every single animal needs to be like the most perfect pristine looking animal, and this movie was like no, well, you know, there's <laughs> there's lots of different people out there. Like why are they all like you know like the pigs? Yeah, <laughs> why yeah. aren't the pigs fuckable? Yeah, like there was there was a there's a you know a couple of pig designs who I that I thought were like really interesting like the um, the ones that like were trying to lift up Poe were very fancy very you know uh, astute and then later on in the movie you see like the the one who's like oh look it's the dragon warrior and it's like a really ugly like five o'clock <laughs> shadow boils all over him like damn like they didn't just copy and paste several characters mm-hmm. over and over and over again like lazy studios do which is yeah I appreciate that. Gives you something interesting to look at in the background of things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, animation wise, though, like, I mean, 2008, mm-hmm. you know, at that point, definitely kind of got this, this three, you know, I mean, you had Shrek at this point, you've had, just, you know, Pixar have been doing stuff for years. So it's like, we've definitely got the you know, mm-hmm. 3D animation genre figured out as far as animation goes so i don't think there was anything in there that you'd go oh that was, that's new that's amazing it just all looks good yeah yeah also um <laughs> go ahead 
um, uh, um, I did notice like a detail. It's like a small thing, but after like the f first time, you kind of see like the Furious Five like fight sh train with Shifu. Kind of see, um, like well, when Shifu tells them like more training tips, like um. Viper, like more ferocious, um, um, Tigress, more fury, and stuff. I kind of see that in the bridge scene. Like Crane, he was more height, and Crane's been, Crane, like, goes above to the clouds and against um, Tai Long. But he doesn't really say anything to Mantis. So Mantis goes over, um, like, you see Mantis, like, try to hold together the bridge, and he, he and it's too much for him to handle. <laughs> I mean, he still he did hold it up, but yeah, yeah, I think that is interesting. I didn't notice that. The one person he didn't give advice to is the one person who doesn't do anything that fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's because Seth yeah. Rogen can actually do kung fu in real life. Yeah, so... yeah, they need Jackie Chan and <laughs> yeah, all right, to do the real kung fu. <laughs> yeah, except he still didn't say anything during the second fight, so <laughs> or the bridge scene or whatever. Yeah, I, I thought it would have been. Um, a bit more interesting to have like um, um, Tai Lung like use because like when you see when you see them doing their training montage like you know Viper is doing like the thing that's mm -hmm. kind of made for Viper dodging the fire it just mm -hmm. it just seems right for her you know uh, the monkey mm -hmm. is doing things that monkey does it would have been interesting to see him use like those techniques against the other characters or like using like a different mm -hmm. character's strength to the other character's weakness kind of like mm -hmm. maybe he he could have done some sort of fire like thing to monkey or something and he wasn't expecting it like just just a way to show like okay yeah not everyone can be trained in the same in the same lane kind of like how poe is yeah poe is fat so the <laughs> the training is pointer. food <laughs> yeah <laughs> well the technique doesn't work on him the one that you know knocked them all down which i like that mm -hmm. And they set it up well with the acupuncture <laughs> thing earlier on that, like, it just, this doesn't work on you. You're too fat. <laughs> You're fat. It's like, uh, I was going to say fat. <laughs> I, I really, I, the first time I, I laughed during the movie was when um, Mantis hits, like, the nerve on, on Poe and he has the weird face while oh. Tigress is talking to him. <laughs> Because it was it was it was kind of unexpected and but it was like it was really funny. I I, I found that pretty funny. Yeah, they do a good job of the comedic timing in this movie. Because like over here when Tai Wong is like, "What are you going to do, big guy? Sit on me?" He's like, "Don't tempt me." And he goes down the stairs, he just sit on him. Yeah, that's that's pretty. That's, um, yeah, that's a funny one too. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and I do, um, I like the fact that, like, you know, um, the turtle, at the you know, it's like, oh, he's going to escape. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I got to send somebody. Ah, this might be a self-fulfilling prophecy now because you're sending somebody. And it was. <laughs> yeah. When one meets his destiny as he tries to avoid it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it kind of was like the same thing with, like, Poe. He really tried to... At first, he did try to not be the Dragon Warrior, and he ended up being the Dragon Warrior. <laughs> yeah, I... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, yeah, because... Poe is really well done in the movie until the pressure's on and he decides to try and run away. I did not agree with that character, um, with with what, he, what they did with him there. I, I felt like... Like, throughout the entire movie, he's, like, I mean, not, like, gung-ho, but he's, like, into it, and he wants to do it, and he wants to be the best, and all of a sudden, he's like, nope, I'm out. And I, I just felt like that didn't really fit his character, or at least the character that they were that they were building to, or, or making, you know? It was more, um, like, I can imagine, like, Tai Wong, he knows all this, the Kung Fu masters, and Tai Wong's name does strike fear into most like they didn't strike fear to PS five or anyone, but like strike fear with the bird, strike fear to any like ci civilian and that's kinda of what he was at the moment, just a civilian. 
So I get why he's afraid, but yeah, I just feel like he'll be more. I don't think more, he'll still be afraid, but he'll be more motivated than he was before. Especially because, like, after Shifu was <laughs> like, "I I believe in Poe," I you know whatever, and mm-hmm. you you would think that at that moment he would maybe be invigorated mm-hmm. again or or be extra yeah. motivated, but instead he he runs away. Which yeah, once again, I, I just didn't feel like that was well. Especially at that point, he had had all his training. And, you mm-hmm. know, he had the dragon scroll. And yes, that was blank. Um, and, you know, supposedly that mm-hmm. was the only thing that was going to make it be able to beat him. But, yeah, it, it did seem a little weird uh, for him to run away at that point. Um, and then yeah, this is just one that <laughs> one the dead to have another, another scene. <laughs> yeah, well, they needed him to know about the secret yeah. ingredient. Well, yeah. that, that doesn't even happen until later when the Furious Five return mm-hmm. after being defeated. So, because um, yeah. cause the way that they even get him back into the story is a bit sloppy, too, because he's just randomly back at the temple eating you know, all the food in there because he's anxious or, you know, he, he eats yeah. when he's upset. Yeah. And I just felt like you could have just had him run away to the kitchen in the first place after that mm-hmm. scene, and you would have not lost the character, right? It would have just been. Yeah, it would have been a better, it would have been a better angle for it because, uh, yeah, the whole the whole business of him running away just, just wasn't just in character. I'll say it. I'll kitchen. say it again. Yeah, just wasn't having him in the kitchen. Room just to randomly be at the kitchen at the temple. It's like, but he ran away. Why is he at the temple? Yeah, you would kind of expect him to be like at his dad's restaurant eating the noodles or something. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I get there like trying. Well, they did like sort of set up like he was eating um like he eats when he gets nervous um which it could have been easily fixed by him going to his dad's shop or anywhere else but yeah running to the kitchen as the enemy said i think yeah they could have done that a little better Uh, i do feel like i mean you guys kind of talked about how like he knows kung fu really well and everything but like i still feel like his Mm -hmm. training montage like, he learned, he became as good as the others in, like, a day. Maybe two. Food is the greatest motivator of all. Yeah, I and, guess. And, um... Well, I mean, even then, like, he wasn't, like, super trained. Like, yeah. he, he still wasn't, like, he was still pretty sloppy in a lot of his um, technique, I guess mm-hmm. you could say. And a lot of his yeah, technique was just kind of being hit into something and then bouncing back and slamming mm-hmm. into, you know, um... Yeah. Uh, Tai Lung. <laughs> The wrestling yeah, he guy. Didn't really, yeah. Mover. He didn't really fight until like that last only like the last few minutes where he didn't really throw a punch. He kind of just used to hit tricks me from, from earlier in the movie. Yeah. Which I really liked. I, I liked the idea of Yeah. He was kind of you know, he he's kind of built like um who's that character who's a who can't feel pain? Uh Older? <laughs> I can't remember exactly right now what the character I'm thinking of is. Maybe Flubber, I guess. He's kind of built like Flubber, where you hit him and you just kind of... It, it goes right back at you, It kind of. Yeah. You know, it, it's, he's kind of got that <laughs> rubber aesthetic to him <laughs> or whatever. You know? Kind of like SpongeBob in that one episode where Flats is going to kick his butt. You know, it, 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 instead of being hurt, he's he's like, hey, that, this ain't too bad. I, I, like that, <laughs> I, I like that ending for this. I thought it was pretty uh-huh. funny. And then yeah, when he when eventually he does become a bit more serious, it, it you know it does change a bit, and it, the ending sequence is well done. I mean, there's nothing much else you yeah. can say. Like I, I felt like the whole yeah. ending sequence was was really good. Yeah, I'm not complaining about the ending sequence. <laughs> but um, one thing I did want to say is that man, Shifu just really did tie long dirty though. I'll say. <laughs> Yeah. Just, even though it wasn't like his choice to make, he really did survive them to believe he was going to be a dragon warrior. <laughs> well, he probably believed it himself. He thought he probably yeah. saw his potential and saw everything he could do. And he obviously was, um, uh, he, he was, uh, not looking at the darker side of what he was doing or the darker <laughs> side of, um, he was, he was probably 
over um it was by Crowder's judgment. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. So when when you know when Uwe yeah. does say like no he can't, he can't be the dragon warrior like, I think that also broke mm-hmm. Shifu a little bit as well cuz mm-hmm. you even see like in the next training montage or not even montage but the next you know flashback he's mm-hmm. training Tigris and he's much more strict and he's much more of like an actual yeah. like teacher instead of being like a father you know Mhm Yeah it took Poe to regain that the father-like instincts and back in them. <laughs> yeah, that that really shows at the end too. When um, Poe like lays mm-hmm. down next to him and he's mm-hmm. like, "Want to get food?" and he's like, "Ah, all right." <laughs> Goes ahead with it. <laughs> yeah, I like that ending. That was funny. Yeah. But uh, they also do like a kung yeah, pao type oh. thing where Shifu pretends to die and and Poe's like, "No, don't die." And he's like. Just because God someone goes, oh, does not mean that they are dead. <laughs> Just resting. <laughs> Did you guys see the little thing after the credits? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Just making sure. Not that it was like a big thing, but it was cute. You know? Just uh, the Sifu giving him some dumplings. Whatever. <laughs> And then you see that the the peach seed he planted is growing. Yeah, I, I almost would have liked to have that be like the ending, like instead of it being like a, the after credits thing, I would have liked to see the peach tree growing like at the end, like it pans over after Poe and Sifu leave, and it shows that it's sprouting. Because you know, with it being at the end of the credits, like you know, it's like okay, what I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sit through every, you know, all these credits, and then here's the big <laughs> like nice. You know, good, good thing at the end here with the peach tree. You know, they should have put that during the main run time, in my opinion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, say, this... say... sorry, go ahead. No, you go. <laughs> um, there was definitely like hints to future movies. I noticed when I was like watching this. Is um, one it's like when you see it with like. Poe and Dad start talking. Um, like he was, like Poe was going to tell him something, and he got, and Poe, his dad got very worried for a second because I figured, I can't remember exactly what they said, but I know I remember um, Poe's dad getting very worried, which like they don't really explain in this movie because it, it was definitely. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Hint to someone else. <laughs> oh yeah, he was he was saying like he didn't feel like his he was son his or actual whatever. son, yeah. and then yeah. you can tell it's like, oh no, he's figuring out that he's adopted, <laughs> which I I haven't I don't think I've seen the other ones at all, but I thought I remembered the scene where they're like, wait, that that's your dad? <laughs> I feel like I, I I feel like the third movie has Poe's dad yeah. come in. Yeah, I think I saw that. Trailer. Third movie is. The second movie, um, I kind of like branches into it, but the third movie is really when they went quite go deep into it. Hmm. Yeah, when I hear the like the first three movies are all good. So, yeah, you know, if I didn't have to rent all of them, I would have watched them. But I do, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not, I'm not paying to watch these. Yeah, they keep spraying them around. Cause like now some are on Paramount, now some are on Peacock. I was really hoping that Ugh. HBO and Paramount were gonna merge. So I didn't, because I, I don't really I, like. I have, I already have Netflix, Hulu. I'm borrowing Disney Plus from Greedy. Thank you again. And then um, I would admit that HBO. <laughs> and it's like I don't want to pay for a like Paramount as well. Like even though there's a lot yeah. of stuff I probably would watch on Paramount. Like if you just combine like all these services, yeah. please and thank yeah. you. Like it, like it used to be. <laughs> yeah. Netflix. Without yeah. Without a monopoly. Yeah. Without monopoly, please. It's just, and also it's like, who who the hell is buying P? Like I just got an ad today on Hulu for like the Fox streaming service or whatever Fox News streaming service. I was like, who the fuck is paying for this shit? Like, right? <laughs> what what do you have I on have... there? <laughs> We've got a new Fox Sports 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 Sports. Sports. <laughs> yeah, um, It's 
<laughs> yeah, when I saw the Paramount logo at the end of the movie, I was like, why isn't this on Paramount Plus then? <laughs> Come on. Don't make me rent it on Amazon. <laughs> I have I, was saying, I feel like they used to be on Netflix, Netflix too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were everywhere, were really. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a, you know, I thought Netflix had the TV series or the series, the show series. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. I forgot. Now that's on HBO. I think it's on HBO or no, it was on Paramount. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Who knows? That's still, it's still free on one of the yeah. ones I checked, but I was like, it's not the movie. I need the movie. And the show doesn't have the same level of like animation or. The dialogue like this yeah. movie has yeah they usually but don't well it doesn't even i am like does it even have the it, actors but, yeah it still has um jack black and the mantis and i mean they, um they still have all the same voice actors well, okay. really even jackie chan well yeah and they just, and they just had monkey be in the background <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he didn't, he didn't he just, say anything. He just, gives, he just gives thumbs up. So yeah, he doesn't actually say anything. <laughs> they just took grunts from all the other Jackie Chan <laughs> movies and mixed them in, <laughs> gave him credit, and went, yeah, we'll, we'll send you a small <laughs> check. Fine. Oh, never mind. They did change most of these actors. Okay, so that's what I thought. Usually for the series, like series like that, they usually do. They get people who sound yeah. similar, but. Yeah, that's probably what it was. I thought it was. <laughs> Which also makes it seem like, yeah, it's like, what is this? That's just slightly wrong. Well, that's what okay. happened with that Megamind show that came out recently. They didn't get Will Ferrell or anyone oh, back they, for yeah, it. Yeah, they didn't and, get Will. Yeah, people were like, it's just, it this was, isn't Megamind. Like, what the fuck? Is, like, even for the movie that leads into the show, they couldn't even get the character, you know, the actors for it. It's like, yeah. what the hell? <laughs> Well, it was the thing when, like, uh, you know, Disney <laughs> movies well became TV shows. You just watch them and you're like, the hell is this? This isn't the people. This is, sounds all wrong. It's just it's bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't remember <laughs> which ones I watched. I know there were some Nickelodeon animated shows that were based off of movies. <sighs> and I know I watched a couple of them and I was okay with it back when I was a kid. Yeah. When you kid, your standards are much lower. <laughs> I suppose I, I had a pretty refined palate when I was a child. <laughs> I definitely did I'm not watch The Godfather. <laughs> yes, I was watching The Sopranos when I was eight years old. Back in my day, I wouldn't watch The Sopranos when you were eight years old. So it didn't exist. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> Okay. Um, was there anything else that anyone wanted to mention about the movie? I appreciate that the movie, um, you know, the end credits had the Kung Fu fighting song, but like mm-hmm. throughout the movie, it was just like actual music and not pop songs, which I appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cause I really hate it when cartoons do that, where they're just like, Hey, that song that's, popular right now is playing and you're like why speaking of the mario movie take on me playing during the donkey kong <laughs> sequence like what the hell is that oh. <laughs> yeah yeah uh, yeah I, I i appreciate that too though that they didn't... yeah i i did notice yeah. though like the, talking about the mario movie the mario movie is like 90 percent slow down shots mm-hmm. and this one it's had some shots. of those but these the shots in this movie where they slowed them down actually like had impact and you're like yeah and it wasn't overused like it was in the mario movie where it's just like every scene had a like to extend the runtime um and here like i said it was used like when poe sits on him and just like a few (laughs) random shots like that where you're like oh okay yeah it was used tastefully we'll say yeah when he gets beat up by the the training like system they have <laughs> well, yeah and that was the other thing is like kung fu is fast so you get these mm-hmm. slow downs to so you can really appreciate it while well, in the mario movie it's like <laughs> they're not moving fast we don't you don't need to slow <laughs> it down here <laughs> um but yeah that was just a, something i did notice because at one point i was thinking like 
Oh, it's it's kind of got the slowdowns like the Mario movie, but like done better. <laughs> Come from 2008. <laughs> Yeah, they really held back on the soundtrack, and also there was not a single fart joke in this entire movie. Um, yeah, then that's nice. I'm like Kung Fu Panda Four. Sure they have. <laughs> uh, oh, did, did they do it like in the first like five minutes or something? <laughs> like, we've they been holding the, back for three the movies. <laughs> yeah, they're showing the trailer. Yeah, you yeah, kind of. I hear the fourth one is just bad in a money grab. <laughs> you kind of expect like. DreamWorks, big fat panda, like yeah, it's it's ripe for a fart joke, but they held back. Yeah. Very, you know, which yeah. appreciate that. They wanted them, they were pretty serious about this movie, I think. And so uh, the fourth one came around. So well, we made our money. Who hey, cares about this one? <laughs> I'm not trying to say that I don't like fart jokes. I I, I do appreciate <laughs> fart jokes, but yeah, good fart jokes it's is the best. It would have been a cliche for yeah. the big fat panda to. Do like to be farting all the time or whatever, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if like Tigress had farted at some point, that would have been that would have been great. But but to have Poe, it's just too obvious. I think yeah. I think Tay's fetish is coming through here. No, no, no. <laughs> if Tigress did it, oh my god! <laughs> I said it'd be funny, not sexy. Because <laughs> you wouldn't expect it, and that's what makes it funny. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I think that that's my piece. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, anyone else? Anything else you want to add? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Lucy, start us off with your final thoughts and rating out of five. So this has always been one of the movies I always kind of come back to every once in a while. Um, because it, well, one the animation holds up, and and the movie itself is just an entertaining time. I feel like man, like monkey, like um, them monkey and the rest of them, they could Furious Five definitely could use more time on the screen. That kind of fix that, I think, in the way the movies. But I mean, there's some like different good lines in here, like. There is no secret ingredient, like when Mantis saying, it's like, how can I judge someone based on the size? I mean, look at me. Um, but overall, it's still an entertaining watch. So I'll give it like a 4.5 out of 5. All right. Yeah, I, um, I enjoyed this more than How to Train the Dragon. That, that's a plus. Um, and I also, I, I also appreciate it a lot more than than that movie as well and I, I know i shouldn't be comparing the two but you know it's both dreamworks and you know both movies recommended by lucy at one point <laughs> um so yeah I, I i enjoyed it and i thought it was pretty good uh there were some things i disagreed with throughout the movie but for the most part i think the narrative was really strong and the animation was well done the fight scenes were good i really like the my highlight of the whole movie was of course that ending sequence i, I like the message that they put in there I like the idea of Poe being like it almost invulnerable because he's so fat. Like I, I, I like that all, you know. And then I also really like the the stinger at the end where him and Shifu are laying together and you know they they they're buddy buddy now. And it's a good arc for for those two characters at least throughout the entire movie. Um, I wasn't really vibing with it for like the first, like I said, like maybe maybe the first like quarter of it. I, I thought I I was I wasn't like super into it, but by the time the ending came around, I was I had warmed up to it. Um, so I can't give it like a high score, but I'm gonna give it a, an above average of a 3.5. All right, yeah, I um, gone based off what Yummy said that that is a great narrative. The animations were phenomenal, fight scenes awesome, music good. I also agree with Tay with the uh, glad it wasn't the you know 2008 pop music just in there or popular music not pop. Um, so that was a good touch. Um, I like the story. Um, good character growth in it, uh, especially from Shifu. Uh, just, you know, especially with the end where he's just like, yeah, whatever, we'll get food. <laughs> um, and I think it's a good gimmick uh, with um, Poe, you know, being you know, invulnerable from just being, you no know, overweight or whatever. So I thought that was a good touch to the fight at the end. Uh, um, voice acting was good. Um, 
besides one, besides Painless. Um, but overall, it was a fun, quick watch. Um, I will. I'm also. I I feel like I don't want to watch another Kung Fu Panda movie because I feel I've heard that they get worse as they go. So, and this what now four or five fourth one just came out right or the fifth yeah, one. Four. Um, so I think hopefully I just stick to this movie. I don't know if I'll watch the others. Um, no, keep it on the high note. Uh, but I'll give it a four out of five. Okay. Um, yeah, I agree with a lot of what's been said. Like the overall story, I think it's really good. It has a good message. Um, the fight scenes are really good. Besides some of the little minor plot points of like him running away and suddenly like, being back in the kitchen, and, you know, that could have been done handled a little better. But overall. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I'd also I'd give it a, a four out of five. All right, we did it. Nostalgia fans, be happy! This was a classic film freaks episode, <laughs> harkening yeah, back to season one. All oh, the memories. <laughs> and, of, and of course, thank you, Lucy, for coming on the show today. We really appreciate that, and also thank you for the recommendation. Did you have another one in mind, by the way, for? A future vote? I actually do not at the moment. <laughs> All right. We'll wait to hear from you, though. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a lot of fun having you on. We appreciate you coming on. And is there anything like that that, that you want to plug, like uh, you know, Twitter, Twitch, anything like that? Nah, I got nothing. Nothing? All right. Just gaming. <laughs> just gaming. Yeah. Uh, if you want to talk to Lucy, head over to the Discord. Link in the description. <laughs> that that's That's it. <laughs> He is very active, so. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, small recommendation time? No, it's not. Oh. It's big recommendation time. Oh. Oh, that's right. Big. Don't forget that's about right. me. No, nah, this wasn't movie. the last episode, right? We we harkened back to season one, and now we're done. Yeah, it was all, it's all a big run around here. <laughs> big circle. Um, it is my turn to recommend a movie, and there's been a movie that has been on my rewatch list for quite some time. I've had the DVD for a long time, but the movie wasn't on any big platforms to rent. You might already know what I'm talking about, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spill the beans because I'm very excited to rewatch this movie. It is The Revenant from 2015, directed by Alejandro Gonzalez in Aritu. Um, and this one is about, um, it, it's pretty much Leonardo DiCaprio gets mauled by a bear and then hunts down someone and, and you know, whatever. So in 1820s, a, f- a frontiersman, Hugh Glass, sets on, on a path of vengeance against those who left him for dead after a bear mauling. There you go. That's the description. It stars Leonardo DiCaprio, of course, uh, Oscar winner for this movie. Tom Hardy, Dom, Domnall Gleeson. Will Poulter, Forrest, Good Luck, and, and plenty more. Um, it is available on Amazon to rent now, which it was not available anywhere for quite some time. So I want to make sure that we watch this before it's gone again. Because <laughs> uh, I think this is... It's, it's not like one of my favorite movies, but it's definitely a movie like back when I watched it when in like 2015 that I really, like, really enjoyed. So I'm, 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 I'm hoping that it holds up. Uh, my, my, my DVD is still wrapped in plastic so i'll break that seal and and give it a rewatch uh so hope uh, you all enjoy it as well <laughs> remember there was being a lot of hype about this movie yeah. when it came out yeah. i never watched it but i never saw it either <laughs> i remember there was a lot of hype for it that <laughs> and what was the other movie that came out around that time too it was like some country or not god western the Django hate- Unchained. No, he Floyd. Is that, yeah, because there was like eight guys. Yeah, yeah. The, the that's yeah. the Quentin Tarantino one, right? Yeah. Yep. Which one? Hey Floyd. Hey Floyd. Oh, hey Floyd. Oh, okay. It all came around the same time. Yeah, I, I like to hate Floyd too. Um, bit grittier than I was expecting in in terms of like Quentin Tarantino movies, but um. Uh, the, yeah, the Revenant. Um, it's 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 just it, it's not as. I don't know. I I I I I, 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 I kind of feel like it's not as like it's not talked about anymore, you know. So maybe we can reinvigorate that. And like I said, hopefully it holds up. I, I remember it being really good, but like I said, I haven't seen it since it was in theaters. So <laughs> it's been what almost ten years now. So yeah, almost. 
that it was on Amazon, right? Yes, available to rent on Amazon. And if there is a problem, like if they take it down before you can watch it, just let me know, and I can always change my pick. Well, but I just well, checked I'll today. Watch it at Yum's house. It's on there, sure. and like yeah, like well, <laughs> we could uh, a long time ago. So a long time ago, it. I had the Power Rangers movie that no one else had, and we watched it through <laughs> Discord or whatever. So. Yeah. So we can do that again if if, if, if all else fails. I do have the yeah. DVD. I don't have a DVD player on my computer anymore, though. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I could get yeah, the. I do have a. Stop doing seven. that. <laughs> well, I built my PC and I didn't put a DVD a, a disc player in, so. Oh, you gotta get a oh. USB plug. Well, I, I have one. I True. have one. I just. Yeah, it's not built in. So, whatever. Anyway, so. Um, we will reconvene okay. and talk about The Revenant from 2015. If you don't want to be spoiled, if you want to join the conversation, make sure you watch that before the next episode airs in two weeks. Yes, I guarantee it, two weeks this time. <laughs> I swear it. Um, okay, now it's time for small yeah. recommendations, and I'll let Lucy know if she doesn't know. At the end of the podcast now, we've been doing small recommendations, just like a little bite-sized thing, like, hey, I watched this movie recently, but we're, it's not enough to talk about in like a full episode. Check this out. Um, or TV shows, or just anything. Yeah, really, really books, anything, honestly. Books, books comic books, anything. So, so I I do have a small recommendation. Um, I, it's, on, it's on Netflix now, um, the first two seasons at least. It's called Resident Alien. Um, oh, I know that one. <laughs> yeah, it's got Alan Tudyk as the main guy. And I didn't know like much about it going in other than it was just this this alien trying to pretend to be like a human. Um it's a lot dark, like it's a dark comedy versus more than I was expecting. Um, but I still really enjoyed it. Uh, the first few episodes, um, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, just because, especially if you don't like watching uh, people being doing stupid, embarrassing stuff because they don't, you know, understand. There's a lot of cringe humor in that. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's definitely Girl, got some cringe say. humor, um, especially in the first few episodes. Uh, it gets, you know, a little less as time goes on. Um, but it, I really enjoyed it, and so I'm going to recommend it. All right. Yeah, I guess my small recommendation will be the same as last time. Quite on set, this you know the story behind uh, some of the most popular shows and child actors of uh, the Nickelodeon era. I finished it this about a week or two ago now, and very powerful stuff. Definitely worth a watch if you haven't yet. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess my small recommendation, even though it's a newer one, is definitely check out X Men '97. It's been, it's been a lot. It's like every episode, it's it's different, and it's yeah. it's been awesome. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've been wanting to watch it. Uh, I'll have to get my brother to find it for me. It's on my list. It's it's yeah. ready to be watched. <laughs> I just haven't had the time. I feel like. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I feel like I also need to go back and watch the original X Men cartoon just so I can know what's happening. Yeah, I think they have that on Disney Plus. Yeah, I know that's yeah. the problem. Is I don't have Disney Plus anymore. Uh, yeah, find the discs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, get your local, can... you know, half price or whatever. <laughs> yeah, my brother can find it online for me. Or that. We don't condone torrenting. <laughs> the pirate life for us. We don't condone it though. Yeah, no, no. don't do it. But you know, maybe do don't, it. A don't bit. do don't don't do it. <laughs> yeah, do it a little bit. No, don't do it. Don't do <laughs> it at all. <laughs> we need a little banner now. The film freeze progress podcast does not does not, <laughs> does not uh, condone what Tay is saying. <laughs> don't I am one fourth. Of, I am one fourth of film freaks. <laughs> And I, I I support this message. Yeah, the three fourths of film freaks does not support this message. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> yeah, no, don't don't do it. Wonk. All righty. Well, once again, thank you, Lucy, for coming on the podcast. Thank you. Good to good to catch up, kind of. Even though we didn't really catch up, we just talked about a movie. But. <laughs> hey. What, it's what brings, in, what to brings people together better than talking about a movie? You know what I'm saying? It's true. It's true. Mm-hmm. A lot of people say the bond of a podcast starts when you watch Brightburn, and it lasts forever. <laughs> it does. Uh, yeah. That All was right. a thing we did watch. <laughs> that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it was certainly a movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe it, it, it was it was a thing. All right, before we travel down that rabbit hole, let's wrap it up here. Yep. I am Yemi the Ferret, and I've been here with Brady Waffles, Paymation, and Mercy. And this has been another episode of Film Freaks with a Z. Thank you for listening. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Skadoosh. <laughs>